What is going on guys welcome back to the Python advanced tutorial series in today's video we're going to talk about the proxy design pattern so let us get right into it. So in the last video we talked about the factory design pattern today we're going to talk about the proxy design pattern and the proxy design pattern is actually quite similar to the decorator design pattern that we already talked about in the series even though we didn't call it design pattern. Um, but the idea is the same because we're basically wrapping functionality around something and this is what the proxy does it wraps functionality around the object creation uh, or it uses an additional layer of abstraction or you could also say protection when it comes to creating instances of classes and let's look at an example here let's again start by importing from ABC so from abstract class we're going to import ABC meta and abstract static method and then we're going to again create an iPerson interface I person and we're going to pass um, we're going to pass meta class ABC meta and in here we're just going to have a basic abstract static method and this is just going to again be person method and this person method is just going to be implemented uh, implemented later on because this is an interface method and now we're going to also create a person class which implements the iPerson interface and here we're going to say def person method print I am a person so just the basic functionality here um, and now what we want to do is we don't want to go ahead and say p1 equals person uh, because that's too direct of an instantiation we're going to use a proxy so a middleman you could say to create and handle the person object. So we're going to say class proxy person, which is also going to implement I person. And this class is going to have a constructor. So we're going to say init self. And uh, here we're going to basically create a person instance that we're going to have as the instance that we're going to manage here. So we're going to, whenever we create a proxy person, we're actually creating um, an actual person object. So we say self dot uh, person equals person like that. And this is now the person object that we're going to manage. But whatever, whenever we do something, we're going to also wrap the proxy functionality around it. So we can also have the person method here since we're implementing the iPerson interface. And here we're just going to go ahead and say print I am the proxy functionality and here you can actually do whatever you want functionality um, and then you can go ahead and say self dot person dot person method so here we're calling the actual person method from the actual person class from the actual person object but around it so before it after it we can do whatever we want you can have uh, logging you can have timing you can have uh, whatever you want this is the this is where the protection comes in. You control what happens when you call certain methods. So you're not just creating a person object and creating it directly and managing it and, and uh, calling the functions directly. You have this proxy middleman class that um, adds its own functionality uh, when you call a method. When you create it, you can also add some functionality here in the constructor so that you have this layer of abstraction and protection. Uh, and it just gives you more control and more encapsulation uh, when creating person objects. So you can see actually when I go ahead and say p1 equals person, not permission error, person, and then p1 person method, we get one functionality. And if I go ahead and say p2 equals proxy person, proxy person, p2 person method, we're going to get different outputs. So let me just open up the terminal, terminal tab bash. Let me just go down a bit so that I'm not blocking again with my camera and then Python three main PY and you're going to see I'm the person or I'm a person and then we get the same thing with the proxy functionality and that's the basic idea of the proxy design pattern. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.